if somehow you became uh, the, the uh, president or someone with some power in the United States, and I don't think that's happening anytime soon, uh, what would be the one or two things that you would think would deal with some of the fundamentals? I was asked that question in uh, Yugoslavia in 1988. Since my name is Panic, they assumed I was a Yugoslav, which my grandfather wasn't. And I was asked what I would do if I was president of Yugoslavia. And my immediate reaction was to say resign. <laughs> uh, I think I would want to say the same in the United States because there aren't the political forces to support the kind of radical measures that really would be needed uh, to really but resolve what the problem. What well, the those measures? radical measures do in involve, in the end, democratizing the economy, taking the decisions about what is produced and what is invested uh, away from these highly un undemocratic banks and corporations uh, and uh, making them subject to the democratic process uh, at the community level, at the city level, at the state level, at the federal level. Uh, that in some cases can mean taking the banks into public ownership at a very uh, minimum. Uh, it can mean uh, subjecting them to far more accountability and regulation uh, of a democratic and accountable kind than they have been. It certainly would mean redistributing income and power and wealth in the United States massively. How, how important uh, is the change of labor laws in, in terms of how? Yes, I think that would be important, uh, very important, but it would also entail a change in the nature of trade unions. The labor movement would have to change itself. Uh, to be more than the kind of labor movement that tries to secure simply more income uh, to buy all the commodities that uh, the American system is producing. It would have to itself be oriented to being a much more democratizing agent than it has been right through the whole post-war period. So it's not, that that's why I think, you know, just putting someone in office with radical ideas doesn't work unless you're able to build the kind of movement behind it uh, that can have people stand up for the fight that would be required uh, to get these policies through.